Hello everyone and welcome to another update. First of all, I need to apologise because it has been a few weeks since my last update. Unfortunately, over Christmas, like a lot of people, um, myself and the rest of my family were all struck down with various colds and illnesses and there wasn't a lot of hobbying for a couple of weeks. And then with Christmas as well, things had to take a bit of a back seat. But over the last couple of weeks, I've been back on it and you can see here what I have actually managed to do. So I did, decided that I wanted to do an update here because I've essentially completed a big chunk of the ghouls. So this seemed like a sensible place to do an update. Now of course Warlord Games were kind enough to send me the Gallic Wars starter set and what you're seeing here is essentially the end of that starter set and I've added some bits in as well. So what I think we're going to do instead of having um, sort of a, a painting process of what I've done because you've seen a lot of this already I just want to run through what I've built up and also show you some of the purchases I've made. Now you saw these Celtic chieftains um, and I've used those to create some command bases but I've also made a couple of other purchases as well like these Celtic line breakers and druids which are actually given to me at Christmas. Um, so they have made their way into the units as well but I think the best way would just be to get stuck in I can show you what's going on and why don't we start with the command bases we'll start with my one of my favorites which is the druid Okay, so here he is. Now, I've decided to do my command bases on these uh, these round stands. Again, I'm using the big red bat bases because I have plenty of them. Like It kind of fits in with my other projects. Um, the Druid is one of the metals that you can get from Warlord Games over on their website. And I decided to use some of the, the plastics that, I, that I've got from the uh, starter set and just give him sort of a, a retoing guard, if you like. So... I decided to sort of just build them up and try and get the ones who were looking like they basically wanted to have a fight. Now, of course, you've probably noticed he is very, very naked. Now, in the druid pack, you get four druids, and I went through them, and th there's a couple of them who are sort of waving sticks and look a bit old, and there's another one who's sort of got a bit of a monkish look about him, whereas I thought this guy looked like an absolute psycho. So if he, anyone was going to be in charge of a division and rile people up, it would be him. So I didn't really have to think too long about which one I wanted to put on the base. So I've uh, put him on there, and then given him his little retoing guard. Now, I decided to give him a standard as well, and if you have a little look here, you can see that I've actually got a Roman helmet. Um, now, that is actually one of the Roman heads, and using a very, very sharp knife and a saw, I actually cut the head out of the helmet, and I thought it would make a nice sort of alternative trophy to be hanging from um, the standard, as well as the heads, um, the severed heads, which you also get on the Celtic sprue. So, that was a lot of fun to sort of add on there. Um, I've also tried to sort of make these guys look like they're some more of his fanatical followers by giving them all war paint or, or tattoos or whatever you want to call them and also just try and bring some attention to them by adding lots of stripy trousers. Now the metal miniature at the front was slightly smaller um, than the plastic so I basically created a little sort of hillock um, with some milliput at the front of the base and had him sort of standing on that um, and then sort of just position the other guys in sort of a way that sort of still made him sort of the centre of attention but I don't know about you but if I saw him on the other side of the battlefield I would probably think twice um, about engaging. Now there are rules in um, the Gallic Wars supplement for Druid there is a point to actually having them um, and um, to be honest I think we'll just have a look at those in a second that would just be a lot easier but overall really really pleased with the command base um, it's just something a little bit different um, I don't know if I will do another druid command base but I'll be definitely using the druids on other command bases if that makes sense and mix them in with some units as well let's have a quick look at what the druids do and you can find their rules at the start of the gallic army section in the gallic wars supplement and they have this nifty rule called the gods are watching which basically says that if a unit in a division is led by a druid and it's shaken you can activate the druid's special rule order the unit to stand fast then test her success as normal if successful the unit discards all its casualty markers except one and they may make one move forward that is brutal because most of these units have a stamina of six and if you look down here um, essentially you can just uh, replace one of the commanders for 50 points if you're playing with points of course 
Now, speaking of other commanders, I made another command stand. So here is a more traditional Gallic chieftain. Um, I wanted some kind of like venerable old leader, and this guy came out of that Gallic chieftain set. And I also thought it would be fun to add a druid on here. Maybe they've been on a lot of adventures together. Maybe this druid is scheming and um, he's keeping his master down and giving him bad advice. Maybe he's in the pay of the Romans. Who knows? Um, but this is really sort of where these figure packs that you can buy from the likes of Warlord really come into their own and help you add a lot of character to things. So as you can see, I tried to keep his colour scheme quite simple because I really liked the scale armour he was wearing and I didn't want to do anything too fancy on that and draw attention away. Um, I quite liked the having the druid at the back with one of these Gallic warriors, so he's sort of pointing off. And I also added a stolen Roman helmet onto uh, this chap behind him. He's clearly killed a Roman taken his helmet and uh, is there to support his lord in his fight against Caesar. I've tried to keep the base sort of in theme with the uh, the rest of the army. I've added a few more tufts and some more diorama pieces here, which are all from Tajima 1. Um, but to be honest, I, I just love working on bases and I love playing with the tufts, so uh, I probably might probably overdid it a little bit, but I really like it. So this is the first of the two war bands that I did. Now, what I did on this one is I added another metal model to the front of one of the bases. And this is one of the Gallic line breakers, which you can get. Now, these don't have any specific special rules, but they're basically all these models of guys leaping forward with swords or spears and a bit of a you know, heroic pose, jumping off a rock. So what what I did for him, I essentially created another little hillock at the front. Hillocks are great for basically bringing attention to a character. Um, and I gave him quite a distinctive paint scheme, decided to add some sort of blood on his sword, which I don't do an awful lot of, um, and have him leaping forward as he tries to crash into the ranks of the Romans or maybe another Gallic tribe. As with all of the Gallic warbands I've done, I've tried to keep the paint scheme relatively simple and as I'm painting these in batches I basically pick out one model on each stick because uh, they're all on the sticks to give stripy trousers to or give some war paint or just try and pick out some details and I'm really really pleased with how this this chap came out I was a little bit unsure as I went but and I was also a little bit unsure about the blood but um, I think it adds something there and just makes him look a little bit more angry these bases are very, very similar to the ones you've already seen, so I won't spend a long time going through all of them. Um, I've tried to do some different patterns here and there, but now I've sort of hit upon a method for, for getting these knocked out quite quickly. I don't like to vary from it too much because I had a lot to paint, and as of this update, I've now done 80 of these um, these Gallic warriors, and uh, I'm to be fair, I'm going to be getting some more. Now this is the second unit that I've done and again they're much the same as the first however this base over here with the standard on is the base that I have done a painting video on which I was doing um, also while I was filming this update so that'll be the next video for the Gallic Wars that's coming out because I had so many people ask me sort of what I'm doing to paint these and it, you know, I'm not actually doing anything particularly groundbreaking or particularly new, but I the method I've got for doing them allows me to knock these out quite fast. The unit that you're looking at now just took me three hours in, in an afternoon to knock out, and then once dry, I just did the basing at the same time as I did the command base for the Gallic Chieftain. So keep your eyes peeled. That video will be coming out hopefully next week. Um, I just need to get the whole thing edited together. So... As you can see, this is what I have now completed um, in its entirety for the ghouls. So we have one, two, three, four Gallic warbands. We have a small unit of Gallic skirmishers. We have the Druid command base and we have a uh, standard command base it will probably be the army general. Now I'm, I'm pleased with this. I'm really pleased considering I really only started painting this stuff up at the very end of November and start of December and with a break in the middle for, uh, for illness and Christmas, we've done a good chunk. Now the, all of these bases of warriors you can see in front of me, that's everything you get in that Gallic Wars starter set. So when you see it laid out like this, that's all the plastic that, you, that you're getting in there. Um, bear in mind as well, of course you're getting the Romans on top of this. I've painted up a load of the Romans as well and I've only got one unit of Romans left to do and I need to get a command base done for them and we can start having some games and you're going to start seeing some small games on the channel as well. However, I did decide with 
um, the end of year Warlord sale. They had um, some stuff on that I would actually start adding in a few more bits and bobs to the army. So I went on there and I saw a couple of things and thought it would just be rude not to because I've had some ideas about how we could expand on everything that you've seen so far. So I saw these and thought these would be a lot of fun to add in. Now this is a set for SPQR, one of the skirmish games that Warlord makes. I don't play SPQR, but I did like the idea of adding in War Dogs. Now, I think what I'm going to do with these is create a light infantry unit and... The army list doesn't have rules for war dogs, and you guys know I like tinkering with rules, so I'll probably just say they count as a small unit of skirmishers armed with javelins or something, and instead of throwing a javelin, they're hurling a dog. So these models are made from the Warlord resin. I've never actually done anything with the Warlord resin. I have got that Roman standard bearer to do, um, so I'll see how this stuff goes and let you guys know what I think, but we have a lot of dogs. I'm not going to get those all onto two bases, so I'll also have some dogs spare for command bases, maybe some Roman bases, who knows. I can also create some things for use in games so i picked those up and i also picked up the model for vercingetorix the uh, the gallic chieftain um, and leader of the fight against uh, caesar now this is a lovely sculpt a very very uh, suitably heroic model in fact he, he's actually quite large but with the um with the shield he's gonna look particularly imposing i don't not quite sure what i'm gonna do with him yet i might make an extra big command base for him like i have done for some other armies where i get a particular historical character i sometimes like to do them on almost a display base so i'm looking forward to him but to to go with him um i decided that i wanted to pick up another standard bearer and have have one that's just a little bit different to the plastic ones so i picked up this chap um who's uh, got a very nice boar standard and he's also carrying a head like so many of the gallic characters so he will go on that base be behind vercingetorix there is a slight size discrepancy but if i bring vercingetorix forward and have have this standard bearer at the back with a whole bunch of warriors around him i don't think it's going to matter too much i think the perspective will look absolutely fine so there we have it there's the indomitable ghouls um where they are for the moment so my next focus is on to finishing off um the romans from the starter set so as i say i've got another unit to paint up for them and i've got a i've got a plan for them something just to make the next unit a little bit different and of course i've got to paint up a command base and let's face it it's, it's gonna have to be caesar i can't do caesar's gallic wars and not paint up caesar so i'll be working on those next as i say next up on the channel for the gallic wars will be the uh the painting video for the uh the gallic warriors um, and then we'll have the Roman update and then hopefully a Roman video and then we'll start having some small games. There's some small scenarios in the book that I'd like to play through and I'm sure we'll come up with some of our own. But that won't be the end of the painting. I've got a whole bunch of other stuff that I want to do and want to add in as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this. Thanks again also for uh, all the comments in the chat over the Christmas period. Cheers to Warlord for sending this over and uh, I'm just really looking forward to getting stuck back in. If you've got any questions at all then just drop them in the comments down below let me know what you think how would you expand on this force um from here what would you what would you add in as always i'll uh, leave some photos up at the end of everything that you've had a look at and um, i'll see if i can get a couple of photos of everything i've done all together anyway i hope you guys had a great christmas really looking forward to 2024 and i'll see you guys all again in the next one so take care of yourselves see you later